interview you for my YouTube channel? Okay. Can I interview you for my YouTube of channel? Course, yeah. yeah, it's about your feet and mental health. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So my YouTube is about what I do is I approach strangers, women, and I teach other foot photographers how to get over anxiety by um, the interaction, by viewing our interaction. So I'm gonna ask you questions and answers about your feet. How do you feel about your feet? Okay. And how do you feel about guys that like women's feet? Okay. Alright? Alright. Cool. All right. Let's sit in the sun. The sun is shining there. Wait, you're about feet photography? Yeah. What? Wait, can you explain it to me again? So, you never heard of feet photography? I have heard of it, but that's your whole YouTube channel is dedicated to It's dedicated to the mental health aspect of showing guys who appreciate women's feet how to go up to a woman and let her know that he likes her feet, oh, pretty okay, much. Okay. So, just to get what your reaction is to that and how you okay. feel about it. Okay. That's pretty yeah. much it, yeah. Okay, Alright, so... Let me see. The sun is there. Come a little closer to me. Yeah. Actually. You want me a seat or? Yeah, have a seat. Back up a little bit. I don't want the sunlight too much in your eyes. That's perfect right there. Okay. It's perfect. It'll be about 10 minutes. <sighs> see how that looks. Perfect. All right. So, how do we get to this moment just now? Um, I was walking back from getting my new glasses, and you stopped me and asked about if I could get an interview about feet. Yeah, feet and mental health, actually. Feet and mental health, for sure. Nice glasses, by the way. Thank you. All right. So, how did you feel when I approached you to do this? Um, I think because we're on a college campus, and there's a lot of like, there's always a lot of interaction, mm -hmm. and you feel safe in a college campus. Right. The fact that you came up to me, I feel like safe and I don't get weirded out or anything about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel about the subject matter? Uh, I don't particularly mind it, really. Okay. You were kind of confused about it being about feet. You even asked me, like, can yeah. you explain more? Mm -hmm. Why was that? Why I that? think I was just kind of taken aback because it's, like, not a topic you would think about every day. Uh -huh. and it's not something you really say in passing. Yeah. So, um, I was like, wait, what is this really about? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, you hear about footers and you get jokes about on the internet uh -huh. um, but it's, it, I don't know for me it's like you don't think it's a real thing until like someone comes up to you and like talks to you about it there you and, go you know I'm a youtuber and you'd be surprised like the ideas people come up with YouTube to make a YouTube channel like the, mm -hmm. the most craziest thing you can think of there's people out there who can connect with it mm -hmm. and that's what makes them blow up so like with me I, I have a therapist my therapist uh, taught me about dialectical behavioral therapy okay. do you have therapists I do not know. Okay, so if someone is suffering from anxiety, let's say they have a fear of approaching strangers, meeting new people, mm -hmm. with DBT, they'll advise you to go out and meet people. Put yourself in that position where you're going to feel uncomfortable. Okay. Expose yourself to it so that you can get used to it. And then once you start feeling those negative emotions, mm -hmm. you do a self-assessment. And you ask yourself, okay... What am I feeling right now? What's the worst thing that could happen? Mm -hmm. I know I feel uncomfortable, but is there a threat to my life, a threat to my health, a threat to my safety? Mm -hmm. If there's not, then proceed, engage, don't withdraw. Act opposite to what those emotions want you to do. Okay. So that's what my YouTube basically displays. I've always liked women's feet. So um, I know there are guys out there that like women's feet. Mm -hmm. And so if you're watching my videos, they can learn how to like basically practice DBT by you know, talking to people and communicating, you know, what you like, you know, and then they can see different reactions. I get a wide range of different women's reactions to it. Some women are open to it, some women are closed off to it. Mm -hmm. So that's the, basically the concept. So how, what do you think about that? Uh, I think I think it's really smart uh, mm -hmm. what you're doing. I think it's really good that, there, you know, the internet's such a wide place and that you have like an outlet um, for such a diverse crowd and yeah. find what they're looking for with the resources and with YouTube. Yeah. And it's good to know that they're like not alone. Yeah, and um, with DBT, you're supposed to keep like a diary of okay. your pleasant events mm -hmm. and when you go through it and something good happens out of it. So I said instead of writing it, I'll make a YouTube vi uh, video okay. and a YouTube page about it. For sure. Okay, so that's the background. So now, how do you feel about your feet? How do I feel about your feet? My feet? Yeah. Uh, they're quite small. I just like mm, Not really. They're kind of wide, mm -hmm. but I like them. I like my toenails. You like your toenails? Yeah. Do you want them natural or do you paint them? I leave them natural. Okay, mm -hmm. that's yeah. good. I like the shape of them. They're nice and square. Okay. Mm -hmm. How often do you get pedicures? Never. I've never gotten pedicures. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever been complimented on your feet? 
I have, yeah, when I was in high school water polo, one of my teammates were like, your, your toes are so cute. And okay. I was like, okay, cool. It was and from I, a woman? That was from a woman, yeah. Okay. So uh, how would you feel if a guy gave you a compliment about your feet? Hmm, I think it depends on the context. Mm-hmm. Um, and the relationship the guy has to me. Mm-hmm. Um, romantically speaking, I would get a little weirded out, but um, I think like as a friend thing, just like, oh, you have a nice feet, or oh, I like your hands, you know, whatever. I think that would be fine. <laughs> so romantically wise, you would be more uncomfortable in I that situation? So, Why yeah, is that? Because I don't think, I don't particularly like feet, and so, hmm, I think if a guy were to compliment my feet as a way of flirting with me, yeah. I would get a little like taken aback, or... I just don't think, like, I don't constitute that as flirting. Yeah. Um, even though they might. So I think that that difference. So would, if it was a compliment about your eyes or your hair, would it be different? That would be different. Yeah, really? Because I, it's, I don't know. I feel bad for saying it, but, like, yeah, I see that as more, like, flirting. Okay. Than my feet. Yeah. But, I mean, your feet is a part of you. That is true. Yep, that's true. Some men find the female anatomy, everything about you to be attractive. For sure. I'm one of those guys, you know. <laughs> it's not particularly an obsession. It's just, like, I find beauty in the feet. For as sure. well for sure, for sure. so um but it will still be weird for you because it's not something what i think i think it's just because i'm not exposed to it you're not exposed time, to it all so the time it's just like okay. a new thing so i'm like oh i have to like take time to process it got it now mm-hmm. if you process it okay. would you be receptive to like a guy wanting to give you like a foot massage rub on your feet smell on your feet kiss on your feet lick on your feet mm, i don't know like i feel like sexualizing feet like i don't know i don't know how like honestly i don't know how i feel about that because like i haven't really thought of it so much is it really sexualizing? Um, I feel like, I don't know, like, the whole, like, like massaging the yeah. feet, like, I think if it's platonically, I'd mm-hmm. be fine with it, but if you're doing that as a way to romantically advance like foreplay. with me, yeah, like, foreplay, I don't think, I don't find that attractive. Okay, so, like, platonically, you'd be receptive to it, but yeah. not in, like, foreplay before mm-hmm. yeah. a sexual, sexual <laughs> engagement. Okay, that's interesting. That's the first time I've heard that. Oh, thank you. I like that, though. Interesting. All right, well, can we see what your feet look like? Sure, Bare feet. Why not? Back up a little bit more so we can get your whole body in the sun right now. Do you want me to take off my shoes? Yeah, and just keep your socks on for now. Okay. <laughs> Both shoes. Okay. What's that shoe? You got small feet. Yeah, they're size six and a half. They look smaller than that. Thank you. She said, "Thank you." <laughs> you like? You think it's better that smaller feet? I literally feet? hate my. I want like at least size eight feet. So. What do you say? Yeah. Like size 8 feet. What about them? I just, that's like my ideal foot size. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why is that? I don't know. Back up and let's have you sit like this. Okay. So this we, is going on YouTube, right? Oh, yeah. YouTube? Only YouTube? Only YouTube. Okay. Well, okay, okay. Talk to me about that. Why is that a concern? I don't know. I just, like, I think it's fine injuring me, but then the fact that you're photographing parts of my body. Yeah. I just want to know where it's going. It's going on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, 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 mm-hmm. only YouTube. Yeah. So I give your consent to YouTube. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, put your legs back up. Uh, you're gonna have to back up a bit more because you're still out of the sunlight. Okay. Let me see. Here we go. All right. Look at me and smile. Perfect. Relax your feet a bit. There you go. That's better. Cross your right over your left. There we go. So how do you feel right now so far throughout this interview? What are your thoughts? Um, I feel fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel fine? Mm -hmm. I think it helps that you're in a public place so you don't feel as like... um, Uncomfortable? Yeah, you're more safe when you're in a public place. Okay, very interesting. Toes up. You have a nice arch. You look like you have an Egyptian toe alignment. Is your big toe longer than the rest of your toes? Yes, sir. That's an Egyptian. Okay, relax them. Is it okay if I touch your feet? Yeah, sure. So, like that. Yeah, I like the alignment. You have a good arch, it seems like. Very nice. Okay, now you can take your socks off and try to keep your feet off the... Sorry, guys. Hello. It's okay, you're good. Wait, so how does this 
go towards the video again, please? How's what? How does me taking my shoes off and you... Just to see what your comfort... Me? See what your comfort level okay, is. Okay, because I don't feel really comfortable doing really? right now. Really? Okay, yeah, now let's talk about that. You know. yeah. All right, talk, talk to me. Why don't you feel comfortable I now? I think it's just like... It's just like if a guy asks you to undress. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's videoing you. I think that's a different story. But like, I'm Asian, so I come from an Asian household where... You come home and you take off your shoes mm -hmm. just because you don't want to attract the dirt in. But the fact that we're outside and you're taking a video of me, mm -hmm. take my feet, shoes off, I think. And you're like getting all the angles. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're like sexualizing my feet. Really? Yeah. Okay, is that a bad thing? Um, I think I would say, yeah. Not really, I want to say bad, but just uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. What's the worst thing that could happen? Uh, we're here right here in the sunlight. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. You know? now, now you're doing the DB, TV key thing on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably the worst thing that could happen is, hmm, I think the worst thing that could happen is you start photographing my feet, mm -hmm. the UCPD comes, and like, hey, are you okay with The this? what? The UCPD comes, and they see you taking a video of my feet, and uh -huh. they're like, questioning. Why would That's they have to question the that? Thing. I don't know. I think, can I put my socks back on? You can, okay. if you want. You can do whatever um, you want to do. I think it's because, hmm. I feel like as a college student on a college campus mm -hmm. with a man... Are you in college, sir? No, I'm graduated. Okay, so as a man who has graduated on a college campus, mm -hmm. you they can... If someone does not have the context, they can take it as like, oh, this guy's coercing her into mm -hmm. taking her shoes off and he's videoing her shoes. Mm -hmm. And they don't know if I've given your cons consent or not, so mm -hmm. they would have to question uh, to ask. Okay. Yeah. So that would be... How would you cope with a situation like that? Would that situation make you uncomfortable? No, I don't think that situation will make me uncomfortable. If anything, it make me embarrassed because I draw more attention to myself. Okay. Uh, but like I said, like I was feeling uncomfortable doing that and I communicated it with you and mm -hmm. I didn't need the police help for that. So it wouldn't make me uncomfortable talking to the authorities. But then I don't think I would ever call for the authorities because I trust myself to communicate with you. Like, hey, I'm not feeling so well about mm -hmm. this and it's okay if you stop. Okay. You know I mean? But, um... So you feel uncomfortable to the extent that you think police would get involved? Because right now, I mean, we're yeah, just like sitting here. I'm recording. Yeah, we're talking. Really you had your today. your socks off. I mean, mm -hmm. you didn't seem like you were in distress yeah, or anything. I think what got me uncomfortable is when you started uh, videoing my feet, and then not just one picture, but it was for a long a prolonged period of time, mm -hmm. and you were getting the different angles. Then I started feeling like, oh, well, my body's being used mm -hmm. to be on a video. And I don't know what people are Even doing for YouTube? Video. I mean, even for, I mean, yeah. I mean, anything could happen mm -hmm. as far as a video. Anything that winds up on the internet sure. could be on YouTube, but somebody could take it and put it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That's sure. possible. Mm -hmm. But um, how would you cope with a situation like that? Honestly, hmm. I think it'd be kind of fun bragging rights, honestly. Cause it's like, hey, did you know my feet's on the internet? Uh -huh. Like, interesting. Because I'm not, I don't really have a big online presence. So it'll be interesting. Um, I think the only bad thing about that, I saw, like, I'm avoiding your question, sorry. But the only bad thing about that would be if it was taken the wrong way and it came to my future employers, mm -hmm. who saw my feet on the internet and saw on like some, I don't know if there's like a foot website or anything. Um, I think that would suck because that would ruin my chances of employment, even if I didn't want it to and I just don't want to get legally involved about consent and whatnot and that mm -hmm. just seems like a hassle I wouldn't want to do uh, but going back to your question what's the worst thing that could happen mm -hmm. that's probably what I would think the worst thing that happened of course I'm not dying and my safety is not in danger but I think my potential future may be affected by it even though that's just an imagination For sure. it's not reality mm -hmm. but then like you also got to think of the consequences mm -hmm. when you do your actions and the possibility that, hey, know what you're getting into, mm -hmm. and know that, like, this could happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, are you still uncomfortable to show your feet anymore? Because uh, I see you put your shoes and socks yeah, back, I put my on. Shoes back on. So, I know, it feels naked. It's kind of funny because I'm from Hawaii, and so back in Hawaii, I would always wear slippers mm -hmm. like 24 7. I'd go barefoot places, and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't matter. Uh, but at the same time, people wouldn't put a lot of attention to the feet. So I'm definitely comfortable showing my feet, but I think I get uncomfortable when people start paying attention to it and they start wanting to video graph and like pay more like details. So you don't, it. you basically don't want to be sexualized. Yeah, even I just if don't that's want to be sexualized. I don't mind if you see me. I just don't want to be sexualized for sure. Okay, so don't want to be sexualized. Why is that? Um. Well, 
why, I don't think any. I mean, I mean, if someone says you're pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. Oh, you know, especially from a, a man. Of, yeah, that's a form of sexualization too. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I think for me, it's like I want to choose which body parts I want to be sexualized, especially if it's going on the internet and on a video. So it's I would feet. personally not want to have my feet be sexualized. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So. You free? Okay. <laughs> So, um, so you don't want to show your feet anymore? Nothing. Okay. Sorry. All right. Oh, so if I did show my feet, can you walk me through? I think another thing is I didn't know exactly what was going down. I thought I was just going to take off my shoes and just take a look at my feet. I didn't know that you'd put me go into different positions. So the positions whatnot. is what kind yeah, of so like you off? Yeah, I think if I got full disclosure mm -hmm. over what was happening, I would feel more comfortable. But I think at that point, I was just like, dude, what is this dude doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I tell you, okay, I want to get some close-ups of your feet, mm -hmm. take some angles and everything, yeah, with your feet up. Yeah, I think if you would have told me that beforehand, okay. I would have like been more contemplating of it, and we wouldn't have to have this like long conversation about got it. what we've just been having. So yeah. now that you know, mm -hmm. would you be comfortable to show uh, you? No, sorry. Still, okay. Now, you wouldn't be comfortable because I didn't explain it before, or you just, now that you processed the whole situation, you just don't want to rotate. I don't want people taking pictures of me. I got people. it. All right. Sorry, yeah. All right. So, in wrapping things up, mm -hmm. I usually ask this, but you already kind of communicated to me already, but mm -hmm. I'll ask again. Was there anything about the interview that could have been better? Any modifications, suggestions, mm -hmm. refinements full that could have been? Full disclosure, for sure. Yeah. Full disclosure. So, what could have been disclosed? Um, when you asked me to take my shoes off, you could have been like, oh, I take my shoes. Oh, do you mind taking your shoes off? I'm good. Oh, take your shoes off first. I'm gonna video your socks. I'm gonna get different angles. Then I'll ask you to take your socks off, and I'll get different angles of your feet. And then I'm gonna ask you to go into this position and that position. I think just getting that, so you know what you're getting into. Okay. I feel like a lot of like, if you ever seen like Fame or whatnot, mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of um, a lot of bad situations that girls get into is because they're not completely aware what they're doing so for instance if someone's asking you like for top oh you're beautiful let me get let me get you as a model mm -hmm. and they start modeling and they're not getting full disclosed what exact pictures they're taking i think and then they're already in that situation and then the guy says oh for instance i'm going to the extremes here oh for instance take your top off now and she didn't know she was getting into that mm -hmm. i think that is like what makes her and she wasn't comfortable with it i think that's what goes wrong and you could, you could sit, apply it to your feet too because you didn't tell me everything that's happening. So if I said, let's see what your mm -hmm. feet look like, right? Mm -hmm. And take your socks off. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could just stand here. I can get here. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at your feet with the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting different angles. Mm -hmm. So how... Because how... you're the first person that said... This is, I've interviewed almost like 200 women. Oh, no way. And you're like the first woman that's like... I was uncomfortable with the different angles. Oh yeah, what were the other women uncomfortable about? Um, you talking about the ones that showed their feet, or just the ones that say no completely? Both. I mean, I asked you, I asked women, can I interview for my YouTube channel? They say no. Okay. Some, I'll say the worst situation is you do the whole interview. They went through everything, and they were like, oh, never mind, don't show it. Okay. And it's like, why? Well, I just not feel uncomfortable about <laughs> being on the internet. It's like, well, you could have communicated that before but I mean I mean sometimes people get in their heads and because of past bad experiences bad frame of references as far as like you know what they hear about they attach that to the situation and they make it something that it's not some people will view same things and you know people have their own perceptions of things even though we're seeing the same thing so I mean that's why I like doing these videos and interviewing different women just to see like a guy's gonna watch this and he don't say, okay, what, what would I do in this situation? Mm -hmm. You know, let me take that into account if I, next time I wanna talk to someone, communicate fully mm -hmm. that I wanna do this and that and this and that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel some like, people make yeah. it more complicated than it mm -hmm. really is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people make it easy. Mm -hmm, yeah, but, you know, it's good to be versatile in both situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, I think, uh, yeah, the angle, I think it was the angles and the prolonged exposure. But I think you just don't like your feet being. Yeah, I don't. I don't focus like on. Up. Yeah, for sure. Right. I like people. Normally, I like people just like focus on me as a whole person, my personality mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. Any parting words? I hope your video goes good, and thank you for taking the time. Are you still comfortable with this going on YouTube? Yes, I'm comfortable with it going on. YouTube. You sure? I think it'd be great. I, <laughs> I think it'd be great because you can just see like the different, like the different girls. Like, like oh, some are down, some are 
not so down, some mm -hmm. are not down at all. You right. know, so you can just see the different ones and you get different ethnicities, different demographics, different backgrounds, different education levels and see like how these different people react to it. Yeah. That's basically and it. And I hope that like my words can help you guys and shed light to all the right. women's psyche. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. All right, perfect. Well thank you very much for your time and energy. Of Take care.